So I wanted to tell you about an amazing, amazing woman running for Lieutenant Governor of Virginia with Glenn Youngkin, Winsome Sears. Winsome Sears, she's absolutely brilliant. This woman could be president, it's true. I watched her speak with such common sense and wisdom. And you know, maybe I won't run in 2024 because she'd beat me hands down, that I can tell you. How about Byron Donalds and Winsome Sears, right? That would be an historical and awesome presidential ticket. Can you imagine how wonderful? But what I've noticed is this is not only a woman, but a woman of color. And none of the big networks other than Fox and some locals have uttered a peep about Winsome. And don't you think that's kind of strange? A black woman running for office is ignored by the media. Well, we know why. We know why, don't we? So apparently these so-called news sources in Hollywood and all who claim to be representatives of women and people of color and diversity, once again, they completely ignore people of color if they're not a Democrat or fascist or socialist, whatever they are. But is that inclusion, equity, equality, diversity, or any other of those stupid things they bring up lately? No, it's the opposite of all those words and they should be ashamed of themselves. And to use part of a Nancy Pelosi quote, I'm surprised there aren't uprisings at the offices of Google, Twitter, Facebook, CNN, MSNBC, and other media and social company offices around the country. Maybe there will be. Maybe there will be. Right, Nancy? Americans deserve honesty, not lies and trickery. All right, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Winsome Sears. Winsome Sears. Huh? Well, she's from Jamaica like Kamala. She makes Kamala look like Mickey Mouse.